Hello, my name is Sam. I'm one of the learning designers at Central Queensland University. Today I'm going to be showing you how to embed uh, a PowerPoint into Moodle. So, to do this, um, it is a four step process. I'm going to explain the process to you and then give you a demonstration of how you can do this yourself on your own Moodle site. So, step one, we have to set up the folder in Google Drive. We'll set up our key folder, which is for the school. Within that, you will have your disciplines and then within the discipline folders, we'll have our qualifications and then the individual units. Uh, it's important to set it up like this so that they don't need to be moved around at any point and the owner of these files needs to be the dean of the school. Your learning designer will be able to assist you with this. So if you contact Learning and Teaching Services, they'll be able to provide you with some assistance to set this up as this is probably the most important step. Um, in the process of embedding these files into Moodle. Our second step is to set up a page on Moodle. So what you want to do is go into Moodle, add a resource and set up the page. I'll give you a demonstration on how to do this. But a key thing to note with this is that you can embed a PowerPoint or video into the summary or a label on Moodle but please do not do this as it will slow the load time of your page down too much and students will get frustrated. Um, so it is definitely best to embed it into a page and I'll show you how to do this shortly. Generating the embed code, we do this in Google Drive. So I'll walk you through how to do this in the demonstration, but you can refer to this PowerPoint after if you need some more support. And embedding into Moodle. It is a very simple process. Uh, Google Drive will create a code for you. You copy that code and then you paste it into Moodle. I'll give you a demonstration on how to do this, um, but again, these instructions will be available to you uh, to download if you need them. So you want to go into Google. Um, and in here, you need to be logged in with your university account. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to create a folder. Now, I already have a folder set up, so I'm going to show you in there. Um, so in here, I have my trades folder, which we talked about in step one of the PowerPoint. So if you don't have this, you can ask a learning designer to help you set it up, or you right click and you select new folder. In here, you create your trades or your nursing or whichever faculty you're from, um, create the folder. Then within that folder, you need to add a folder for each discipline. So today we're going to be working out of the engineering folder. So yeah, we're doing the Cert 2 in engineering fabrication. I've created the folder here and within that folder, we also have a folder for our unit. This is where we will be uploading our PowerPoint to. Your PowerPoint will be on your desktop or in a document somewhere on your computer now what you need to do is go into the unit folder, right click and go upload files. Okay, and then I put my file on my desktop in here. We want to have a look and we go, yep, MEM18005B PowerPoint presentation. That's the one we want and I'm going to open it and it's uploading down here. Okay, so now we've got our PowerPoint up. Now we want to go into Moodle and set up a page for where we're going to embed our PowerPoint. So in here, this is my VET test unit. So I'm coming in here. Under Topic 3, I've decided, yes, I want to put a PowerPoint in here. So I've set this up. I've added a little icon, put a nice heading there. And I'm going to go Add an Activity or Resource. To add a page, we scroll to the bottom down here is a page. So we want to click on that, add. Okay, now we want to name this page. We will call this um, Topic 3 PowerPoint. You can title it whatever you want, but it needs to be descriptive of what's going to be on the page. So in this case, it's a PowerPoint. So now we want to go back over to Google Drive where we've uploaded our file and we're going to right click this. Now we're going to go open with Google Slides. 
So in here you can edit and make any changes you need to, but ideally when you upload the file it should be the master copy and it should be ready to go. Um, so now to embed this file into Moodle we need to generate an embed code. So we go file, we go publish to the web. And we don't want to add a link, we want to embed the file. That's all fine, we don't need to select any of these and we don't want to require them to sign in. So now we click publish and it will prompt us and it will say, are you sure you want to publish this selection? We say yes, okay, we do. Now it's given us an embed code. Um, you don't need to know what any of this means, you just need to right click and copy. Now we need to go back to Moodle. So up here we had our page contents. So if you select this little button here, it'll give us some more editing options along here. We want to go into this one, which is our HTML. Now all you have to do is right click and paste. So that's your embed code there. You can click back out of that now. And voila, we have a embedded PowerPoint. So come down and go save and return to unit. All right, so now this is what it will look like. We'll have a little link here, which will take us into our page that we created earlier. And our PowerPoint's there and it's ready to go. So students accessing this on a desktop computer, a tablet or a mobile will be able to see this. Um, they'll be able to flick through and get the information they need. Yeah, and that's basically it. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions please contact one of the learning designers. They will be they will be more than happy to assist you with any queries you have around embedding PowerPoints into Moodle. Thanks.